Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to close periods within your QuickBooks desktop file. Closing the period means that nobody will be able to go back in to the close time to edit any sort of transaction. So to actually close the period, what you're going to do is um, be logged in as an admin or an external accountant only and go to your edit, preferences, and then the first option, which is accounting. So you'll see in my preferences, there isn't really much in here, but when you click on company preferences, this is where you'll find at the bottom the closing date. So you can see right now the date through which the books are closed is November 30th of 2018. So I'm gonna set a date and password. So let's say I'm looking to, to close off the periods all the way through December 31st of 2018. I would mark that here, enter my closing date password, and then click OK. And now you can see that through 12-31-2018, nothing can be edited. Now, if you do need to go back to edit something, if you are confident that it's not going to mess up any of your financials, you can go back in time as well. So let's say I wanted to go back again to November 30th. Enter my password and click OK. Now you can see that December 1st through the 31st of 2018 is reopened because the date through which the books are closed is only through November 30th. Go ahead and click OK, and that is how you close the periods within your QuickBooks file.